Good afternoon. Um, my name is David Meinertz. I'm the founder or co-founder and um, CEO of Zava. Zava provides digital healthcare that's instant, convenient, and a fraction of today's cost. Actually, Zava is the largest provider of digital healthcare uh, in Europe. Over the last eight years, we started in 2011, we provided more than two and a half million paid consultations in six European markets. We're based all in London, but we treat patients in the UK, in Ireland, in Germany, in France, in Austria, and in Switzerland. And our growth has been not as stunning as student.com, but pretty good as well. So last month, we have provided more than 100,000 paid cons consultations um, across all markets in Europe, and we're growing around 4 to 5% every month. Now, how have we won in these six markets? We won in these six markets by providing two things. Number one, an exper a patient experience, which is exceptional and scalable. And number two, we've chosen a healthcare model which maximizes doctor efficiency. So how does Zava work? In the old world, let's take one of our patients, a young woman is looking for contraception. She would have to call her gynecologist or she would have to call her GP, book an appointment, wait for a week or a few days, travel to the GP or the gynecologist, sit in the waiting room, and then have a one-to-one -one, face to face consultation with the doctor, typically in the range of 10 minutes. At Zava, patients would go online, go online and complete a condition-specific medical questionnaire in which we all ask the same questions a doctor would typically ask face to face as well. Once this is done, one of our doctors on the platform will review the answers and then assess the patient, provide advice, and if required, a prescription. This prescription, depending on the preference for the, of the patient, will be sent to a mail order pharmacy, so the meds get shipped uh, the same day and arrive the next day, or we send it to a click and collect pharmacy, which is nearby where the patient lives. And so the patient can actually pick up the medi medication within an hour at the latest. Patients love this experience because it's super convenient and instant. And regulators and doctors also appreciate this model because it's all based on structured written data. Every single interaction between the patient and the doctor, the healthcare professional, is documented. And so that leaves an audit trail. And you can see the results from our most recent inspection in 2017. Now, this structured data enables our software to pre-qualify, assess, and then route patients to specific doctors and for specific requests. So patients approach us for advice, for diagnosis, for a repeat prescription, or a simple normal prescription. And we ask patients to then upload a test result or a photo or just answer a simple questionnaire. And as a result, our doctors can provide advice, a referral, a prescription, or maybe even a second opinion. This model is incredibly efficient. And in the UK, it's around 20 times more efficient than a traditional GP and the NHS. By pre-qualifying patients and assessing patients before the doctor actually gets the information in a structured format, most of the work is given to the patient and the doctor will then focus on what only the doctor can do. And, and that's then very, very efficient and very safe. And you can see this here, where we have con constantly grown the number of consultations we provide, but the number of doctors which have been on our platform working and treating patients and advising patients has been relatively stable. So Zava does not provide AI or use AI to replace doctors, and Zava does not just put doctors on video. Zava focuses on making doctors more efficient and more safe by writing software and applying clinical guidelines, which lead to a really structured conversation between an interaction between the patient and the doctor. Now, why does it matter? Everybody is getting older, everybody is getting iller, and we don't, as a society and as a system, want to spend more money on treating all these conditions and patients. And as a result, we need to become, as a system, much more efficient than we are today. And so how will Zava capitalize on this uh, opportunity even further? Number one, we will dramatically increase the scope of, what we're, of the conditions we're treating already today. 
at Zava, a doctor can currently treat in this format around 50 to 60 conditions. Over time, we'll increase it quarter by quarter to around 200. With around 200 conditions, we know that we can uh, treat around 70% of all primary care issues remotely, without going to A&E, without seeing the patient face to face, or without even touching the patient. And technology like the watch or test kits or other wearables will help us, our doctors provide inform get information for us to diagnose. That's number one. Number two, we'll increase Zava's awareness. So in the UK or in Germany, our most important markets, most patients actually don't know that being able to, or getting treatment online is even possible or legal. Even my mother, who's a doctor, is embarrassed when she tells her friends that I'm running an online healthcare company. However, more importantly, once patients realize that they can get treatment online, most of these patients actually choose to get treatment. And that's very, very important. Number three, digital healthcare is, going, is about to go mainstream. And we've seen regulatory changes in the UK, in Germany, and in France, where statutory healthcare systems, big insurance companies, have realized that they need to become more efficient and provide more convenient solutions to their customers and or patients. And so over the next, currently we're talking to a number of NHS providers and, a, and big insurance companies in, in Germany, and we're expecting that the regular change which is currently happening will enable doctors to actually get paid for the consultations they provide to patients uh, um, paid for by the insurance company rather than by the patient. All the numbers, all the growth we've provided so far was all on self-pay. However, the much bigger market is in what we call the free-to-patient market at, at the point of care. In Europe, most people never pay for their primary care, and we've built this business so far uh, on, on what we call the self-pay market. Once regulatory systems have completely opened up, and we assume that's happening either this year or towards the early next year, this market for digital healthcare services within the statutory healthcare system is going to explode. Number four, currently we treat patients in six European markets, the UK, Germany and France, our most important markets, but also Ireland, Austria and Switzerland. We're about to launch into a new European market, um, uh, two actually, um, which is Spain and Italy, and over time, will roll out more globally. Um, we've, yeah, Marco loves numbers, and, and I've been here before and I was told very clearly that uh, next time I need to bring even more numbers and real numbers. Uh, Marco, these are real numbers. So uh, we've generated just under 50 million uh, in gross revenue in 2018, and we're on track to grow uh, around 44% um, uh, uh, over the next five years to around... Uh, doctors and meds. Um, as a summary, um, we've built this business on the back of very little investment, 1.2 million in 2011. Uh, we are now at a run rate of around 55 million, um, and uh, we are break even. Um, we have identified significant opportunities for growth, um, particularly in what we call the free to patient market at the point of care where insurance companies and statutory healthcare providers are looking to save costs, to become more efficient, and to build more relationships with their customers. And that's particularly true for Germany and the UK and France, where the regulatory change is happening as I speak. But there's also a, a huge opportunity to extend in the market, which we call self-pay, where patients are prepared to pay for the premium service we can deliver, which is instant and very convenient. I'm around for another hour or two, uh, so if uh, you're interested in talking, I would very much welcome that. Thank you.